Our next milestone was just mentioned by LRH. Past lives or past deaths, however it was phrased, it not only is the next milestone era, but an entire body of data, whole track. After all, it was only but a short jump from discovering the lives of others one had been living to discovering one's own whole track of existence. And while our next book is a history of man, let's not forget LRH describing books as the summary of conclusions to date. In this instance, two intervening lecture series illuminate how he reached that next plateau, those new conclusions. Specifically, taking off from life continuum, LRH began to investigate past lives. What made it possible was something new that had appeared on the scene, the first E-meter. The details are contained in the lecture series, Milestone One, a series which began with the six words that marked the transition from Dianetics to something else. Quote, this is a course in Scientology, LRH. Indeed, it was the first course in Scientology, and using the meter to map out the time track came the discovery that Theta had its own time track independent of the body. Before that, and even though recall of past lives was a routine occurrence, it yet remained in the category of messed and genetic memory. There was more when mapping the Theta line and other students of that period doing the same, something entirely unexpected occurred. The discovery of incidents common to every individual, one to the next. The subject had crossed the one life threshold and contained within these lectures is the step-by-step -step trail to the book, History of Man. Next, the route to infinity. Now, a lot of people have previously studied this lecture series, but out of context, it might have seemed out of context. <laughs> In its proper context, you can see it follows directly on the heels of Handbook for Preclears and the ability to be. Then again, add the context of Milestone 1, for while previous techniques address current life, LRH had now mapped the key incidents on the whole track. Hence, LRH had developed a new auditing technique, which he called Technique 80. As for what Technique 80 encompassed, and in evidence that the materials require you to know your previous basics, LRH described it as the means of increasing ARC, science of survival, until the individual can be anything. Handbook for preclears. Now, I wouldn't have said a word about all of that if it didn't directly relate to our next book, History of Man. Because while more than a few have perused that text, many of whom will talk about it happily and gleefully in terms of electrification, the fact remains that students have had, some students have had difficulty with this book. And putting aside editorial corrections, here's the classic case of skipped gradient, meaning all the material contained in the previous books. Because the terms from those previous books are spread throughout the text of History of Man, and if those previous books were confusing or not studied at all, well, you get the picture. But in this case, it goes one step further, meaning lectures as well. It starts in the preface on page one, where LRH clearly states history of man depends upon a knowledge of technique 80. That's route to infinity. What I'm really telling you is this. With our new books, you'll absorb history of man with the ease of drinking a glass of milk while achieving conceptual understanding. Proof, previous students were taking up to 30 hours to read this 150-page book. Pilot students studying these new basics were doing it in three to six hours. As for the book as a whole, it received the full top-to-bottom handlings to straighten out mistranscription, erroneous punctuation, etc. Similarly, the layout was done exactly as LRH intended, including his graphic description distinguishing the genetic line, the track of the genetic entity, from the track of the theta being. The book contains the incidents plotted by the meter on both the genetic line, as well as the specific incidents on the theta line. It even includes as an appendix additional incidents on the theta line discovered by LRH after the book's first publication, but directed for inclusion. And with a glossary of over 740 words providing every possible definition, not to mention all else, History of Man is now 100% as LRH intended. Then, combined with Technique 88 lecture series, also never before available, you have your one-two punch of book plus lecture guiding you through both the theta and genetic line, as well as electropsychometric auditing, LRH's first text on the meter, all in addition to the track map to plot your track of existence. 
So yes, that's the recovery of lost tech of whole track. And since we're following LRH's research trail, let me once again give you LRH from this never before available lecture series. Don't go straining at the credibility of this material until you take a test of it. There are many of you, many, many, many in the field when you say a whole track process, they say, oh, you believe in past lives. Oh, we're not talking about past lives, we're talking about the whole track. Actually, your mess body only has one life. It gets born and it kicks the bucket. And that's that, three score and 10, sometimes less. Much less if you get married or anything like that. <laughs> so here is your whole track compared to this other track. Your whole track process appears to something that nobody ever processed before because nobody could really locate. And that is the theta body, the actual you, which goes back practically to the beginning of time. That is one track for it. Now in your messed body, you have one track for it and it's one lifetime. And what you're deciding when you say, well, it's whole track stuff, I don't believe in that. And here over here is this, this, this thing, and messed body, one lifetime, everybody knows you only live once. What you're actually deciding is not whether or not there are past lives. You're deciding whether or not you're processing the theta body or the messed body. See how it could be? So that those people that are saying, no past track, no past track, nothing like that, born only once. They're just arguing from an actual fact, and their conviction is born out of this fact. Their mess body gets conceived, gets born, and dies. And that is the end of it. Somebody shovels it off, $63 cut rate funeral, everybody goes to the funeral parlor and cries and says there's 97 cents worth of mess. Only they don't say that, they say there's poor old Uncle Joe and he will never be himself again. Well, he sure won't. <laughs> And then there's this other thing, the theta body. <laughs>